orange juice made from Florida oranges might be disappearing from store shelves. This has sent frozen concentrate orange juice futures to record highs and led to thousands of job cuts, billions of dollars lost for the state, and bigger risks that have scared away some futures traders. The impact is so far-reaching because orange juice isn't just a breakfast drink. It relies on a real-world commodity that has propped up an entire industry for decades. Here's what Florida's dying oranges can tell us about how the commodity market works and how it impacts the price you pay for orange juice. A commodity is a basic good, used in commerce that usually refers to a raw material used to manufacture finished goods. So think lumber, gold, oil, and frozen concentrate orange juice, which became a commodity following World War II. Researchers were trying to find ways to give soldiers in the United States military ways to drink tasty juice that also had the added benefit of giving them vitamins. By evaporating some of the water from orange juice, then freezing and packaging that, frozen concentrate orange juice, the commodity, was invented. Shipment is in refrigerated trucks and trains only to keep the product frozen until the can is opened in the kitchen and the water is put back in. Because it's something that is widely processed, widely available, and is generally of equal value or quality, depending on where you are, that's something that could be traded. Following this invention, Florida's orange industry really boomed. Throughout the late 1990s, dozens of orange juice processing plants were built across the state. Depending on the season, more than 90% of the country's orange juice was made from Florida-grown oranges. You had Florida oranges on the state's license plates. You have the Florida Orange Bowl, which is the, one of the most famous college football games played outside of Miami each year. Miami, Florida plays host to a half million spectators on the eve of the Orange Bowl game. In addition to this actual hard commodity that we have, oranges, at the end of the day, you really see, in the case of Florida, them growing into this large cultural phenomenon. Commodity trading often revolves around futures contracts, an agreement between two parties for a delivery of a commodity at a future date. These tend to run on a monthly basis. When prices go up, that tends to mean either there's a huge shock to supply, or it means there's surging demand. In Florida's case, a bacterial disease called citrus greening has been killing orange trees since the early 2000s. That, plus a freeze and two hurricanes last year, have led to the state's worst harvest in nearly 90 years. Demand for orange juice has actually gone down over the years, but because Florida's orange production has plummeted so much, prices have actually gone up. Orange juice manufacturers are also increasingly using oranges from Mexico and Brazil because Florida's supply has gotten so low. Over the last couple of years, the U.S. dollar has been particularly strong, which basically means that we can have our dollars go further abroad. So imports from places like Brazil and Mexico have become effectively cheaper which adds more pressure on Florida oranges. So why trade a commodity like frozen concentrate orange juice? Well, for the farmer and the manufacturer, buying futures contracts protects them from price fluctuations in the market. So if the price does in fact fall, you've locked in some of your output at a certain level. So you're not going to bear the full brunt of those losses. Commodity markets are dependent on a lot of natural factors that are unforeseen and out of people's control. And one of the ways that traders try to limit some of the volatility that comes with that is by exchanging futures contracts. Financial traders aim to profit off that volatility by placing bets on which way they think the market will swing. That was the premise of the 1983 movie Trading Places, where the main characters made a fortune betting on the frozen concentrate orange juice market. The cold winter has apparently not affected the orange harvest. But what happens in commodity markets doesn't just affect these three groups. When futures prices are high, manufacturers pay more for contracts, which means they charge retailers more, who then charge consumers more. Given the trends that we're seeing from Florida, it seems that the prices will only continue to go upward. 